Hey friends, coming to you from the lovely Nariac Third Gate on my shiny new necromancer that I've been working on for a minute. Um, I've been doing the red wine quest. I'm going to kind of run you through that process, kind of entering the actual part of the third gate right past the cleric guild. Come in. Note this location. This is actually the library where the quest turn in is. And we're just going to come around this corner here at the Furrier Royale. Take a left. Here, see the bauble. There we go. We have Cuisine Excelsior right here. And our lovely friend Katara Lacrit is going to hook us up with some sweet red wines. So we're going to go ahead and buy a stack. Also, note shout out to my awesome cat actor down there. Is working very hard for the money, as you can see. He definitely wants a treat. We're going to come back um, the way we came, turn right at the Furry Royale. And here is our lovely area that we want to turn into. So I did that kind of fast. Walk in, left at the door, turn right, and immediately left. There's another door. And you will find our dear friend Lokar Tobiath here. With his pet conveniently standing in the way. If you kind of angle it like this, though, you're not as likely to have turn in issues. So, we're going to go ahead and turn in wine and let's talk about experience on this quest and the kind of the benefits of it. So, um, each thing of wine at level one, I was turning them in so you can actually turn these in four at a time to make your life easier. So, the first four that you turn in gives you about 35, 36% of your level. So level one uh, takes a total of 16 wine, I want to say, to get to level two. Uh, it slows down dramatically for each four you turn in, you get about 5% at level two. And then over here at level three, it is again slowed down, and you are now turning in four and getting just 2% experience. So the advantages of this, though, is your Dreadguard Enter outer and your dark bargainers all get better so if you're able to turn into this guy using hide or whatever the case may be you can actually build your nariac faction to the point you can buy and sell here walk in the door not get murdered all that good stuff so it does have some advantages for some of the other evil races um other than that maybe if you're doing a lot of questing in solosec a or something like that or doing the solosec dungeons Whatever the case may be, um, I could see some benefit there, but for the most part, um, it's really just for people that want to build Dark Elf Faction, where this quest is really going to shine. And um, yeah, with that being said, folks, appreciate the love and support. Do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button, smash subscribe, ring the notification bell, all the typical YouTube -y stuff. I'm going to be trying to document a lot of the lower level quests and kind of their benefits and whatnot as we go. So definitely appreciate the support on all this. And as always, thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.